poverty let's we continue our chapter poverty strategies submitted by the government of india for removal of poverty strategies we were discussing regarding as strategies related with the removal of poverty from india removal of poverty from india in which we discuss as a land reforms a number of land reforms took by the government of india for removal of poverty removal of poverty in which as the basically the government targeted to provide as a more number of a job opportunities to people for land reforms to as the land reforms due to as the economic policies of the britishers there were the huge gap lies in between of a rich and poor such gap not easy as to complete without as the land reforms so for which as a government it banned over a shift uh, zamindari system it abolished a zamindari system ban on a shifting cultivation allocated the land among the those which came to india those people who left the territories of a muslim communities muslim areas of a pakistan and moved towards a india these people they face as a economic crisis to provide them the job opportunities for which as a land allocated it was as a given to them second we discuss as a sectoral growth of economy sectoral growth of economy growth of economy means in 1950 planning commission established planning commission established for the sectoral growth growth in a different sectors of economy our economy based upon a three sectors primary sector secondary sector tertiary sector at the time of independence the foremost demand of a population was a food how to feed them government needed a more food items to which it can feed their population as easily population as easily apran yes sir am i visible to you yes sir now you are visible thank you network so sectoral growth so in which as government has earlier targeted towards as a agriculture for agriculture growth green revolution introduced in india till as a 1960s when india becomes as a self sufficient in a field of a food grains those food grains earlier as important towards a country now as india is starts to it started to export it towards as a other countries of a world clear then government shifted towards shifted their emphasis towards as a industries secondary sector then as a tertiary sector so for sectoral growth planning commission was as a setup third that point which was as given by the apran industrialization industrialization or we can say as a growth of industries or cottage industries growth of cottage industries growth of cottage industries growth of cottage industries to which the industries through industries yes jashan so aapki video fir se visible nahi hai ab ho gayi hai sam I think your camera is not working. So let's we continue. Cottage industries are an industrialization with the growth of industries. Growth of industries, so more job opportunities can provide it to the people. More job opportunities. A person which has doing a work, which has earning a income, it can complete their basic necessities as easily. So for which as government first has emphasized over the. cottage industries those industries which were ruined due, during the time of a british age last year you read as the weavers how the british policies adversely impact over the weavers so weavers related with the cottage industries such industries which were functioned in a household areas by the family members cottage means as a houses family members collectively the family members responsible for a manufacturing of things and such things they selling at their local markets so through this as people getting as a jobs through the industries people getting as a jobs through which they can complete their 
basic necessities through which the people they can complete their basic necessities by jobs jobs providing in a industries jobs providing in industries now the fourth one is a now these three points we discussed in a yesterday now the fourth point fourth strategy updated by the government of india as redistribution of income redistribution of income redistribution of redistribution of income in economy redistribution of income in economy during the 200 years of a british age british age industrialist industrialist these were as a more benefited those people which were as a loyal towards a british empire they were benefited comparatively with others which make as a economic disparities economic disparities disparity means differences economic disparities economic disparities means the rich becomes the more richer poor becomes more poorer poor becomes as the more poorer rich becomes more richer poor becomes more poorer redistribution of income in economy in indian economy during the 200 years of a british age the british policies british policies made economic disparities in region rich becomes as the more richer poor becomes as more poorer poor becomes as more poorer those people which were loyal towards as the british empire they benefited highly benefited comparatively the weavers farmers and laborers farmers as you learn most number of the farmers at that time these were adversely affected during as a british age due to the revenue policies britishers collected as a higher revenue from farmers they bound the farmers to produce as cash crops such cash crops which decrease which leads to the decrease in a fertility of our soils so british policies adversely impact over the laborers farmers and weavers but more beneficial for the more beneficial for the industrialist more beneficial for a industrialist which make as a economic disparities a gap between the rich and poor reduced by the government of india reduced by a gap between rich and poor reduced by the government of india through certain efforts efforts made by the government efforts made by the government in relation to the in relation to solve economic disparities economic disparities as first first collection of taxes collection of taxes from rich and middle class families middle class families we all are belong from, from a middle class families middle class families so they are bound to the payment of a income tax clear first as collection of taxes from middle class and rich families second tax imposed on tax imposed on tax imposed on luxurious items luxurious items luxurious items means if you are buying as a four wheeler car refrigerator air conditioners you have to pay as a more tax you have to pay as a more tax government has collected as a negligible taxes on a basic items but the more taxes are imposed on a luxurious items car it will be buy by the that person which is as economically sound economically sound 
which is as the economically stronger that person will prefer to purchase as a luxurious items the person with, whose earnings are the lower it will emphasize over the basic needs neither to move towards the luxurious items clear it will prefer to purchase as the basic needs low graded income groups but the high graded income groups they will prefer to purchase as the luxurious items so government started to collect taxes from a luxurious items third third effort made by the government of india in relation to the redistribution of income among the masses as a subsidies given subsidies 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 given to economically poorer sections economically poorer sections for generation of self employment for generation of self employment subsidy means at the time of a loan if anybody has borrowed a loan from a bank so some amount of the money it will be as a relaxed by the government from the side of a bank it will not collected by the bank from a individual from individual from individual for example sources is given to the economically backward sections for sources of self employment for sources of self employment i am again as repeating redistribution of income redistribution of income during as a british age british age in indian economy as a economic disparities prevails means economic differences in that condition rich becomes as the more richer and the poor becomes as the more poorer british age make as a gap in between as a rich people and a poor population poor population rich population rich people and the poor peoples so such gap in between the rich and poor poor people it removed or decreased by the government to the sum of the efforts what efforts obtained by the government in relation to the reducing that gap in between of rich and poor government started as a collected as a taxes from a rich and a middle class families second as government started to impose as a more taxes on a luxurious items and third subsidies given to the economically backward sections economically backward sections for generate their own sources of self employment means they don't have to dependent upon a government they can start their own sources of employment sources of employment for example a person which has passed as a 10th level of the examination 10th level of the examination and having the any kind of a skill use embroidery ka kaam aata hai the person is a familiar with the saloon work third as a mobile shop uh, or stitching clothing any of a work bank giving as a some amount of a money as per the demand on subsidy whatever the subsidy rate is going on the 10% for example out of the 1 lakh as a 10% deduce 90000 it will be paid by the that borrower to the repay by the borrower to the bank this is as a role of a subsidy for a generation of a self employment to which a people they can become as a self employed self capable capable to earn their income neither to dependent on a population but still some population is still less unable to complete their necessities for example these schemes are targeted as only to the that population which is as a literate but when we talking about the illiterate population for which the government of india given as a poverty alleviation programs second part of a removal poverty removal one as a strategies second are the poverty alleviation programs poverty alleviation programs poverty alleviation programs programs poverty alleviation programs in which the first as a manrega manrega 
महात्मा गांधी नेशनल रूरल एम्प्लॉयमेंट गारंटी एक्ट आई एम अगेन रिपीटिंग एज अ महात्मा गांधी महात्मा गांधी नेशनल रूरल एम्प्लॉयमेंट गारंटी एक्ट दिस स्कीम लॉन्च इन टू थाउजेंड फाइव टू थाउजेंड फाइव मनरेगा लॉन्च इन टू थाउजेंड फाइव टू थाउजेंड फाइव फॉर जेनरेशन ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट फॉर जेनरेशन ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट जेनरेशन ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट वट वर द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस स्कीम फर्स्ट फर्स्ट हंड्रेड डेज ऑफ हंड्रेड डेज ऑफ हंड्रेड डेज ऑफ जॉब ऑपरचुनिटीज हंड्रेड डेज ऑफ जॉब ऑपरचुनिटीज provided to the rural population provided to rural population 100 days of job opportunities provided to the rural population second 33% 33% jobs reserved for women reserved for women reserved for women third jobs secured for a socially backward sections scs and sts scheduled castes and scheduled tribes jobs are reserved for the scheduled castes and scheduled tribe communities of rural areas scheduled caste and scheduled tribe communities of rural areas rural areas and fourth what was as a fourth objective in a state of a job not in a state of job not provided to laborers jobs not provided to the people unemployment allowance unemployment allowance unemployment allowance given by given by panchayat to individuals village panchayat to individuals i am again repeating as a fourth point in a state if a person not getting as a jobs in that state unemployment allowance given by the panchayats to people now how can that scheme has work any individual which is living in a rural economy in a village areas not having as a regular job that person which has not having the regular job the person has to register himself or herself himself or herself in a panchayat this will be as a responsibility of a panchayat they have to provide the 100 days of a job opportunities in a year in a year 100 days of jobs it will be as a given to the person that work it may be as any kind of a लो ग्रेडेड वर्क लाइक एज अ क्लीनिंग स्वीपिंग कंस्ट्रक्शन कहीं पर भी उसे काम देना जरूरी है एटलीस्ट ऑफ हंड्रेड डेज इन थर्टी थ्री परसेंट इन विच एज थर्टी थ्री परसेंट जॉब आर रिजर्व फॉर द वेमेन एस सी एंड एस टी दे आर दारगेटेड टू विच एज अ पॉवर्टी ट्रेंड इट कैन बी एज अ रिड्यूस अमंग दैम पॉवर्टी ट्रेंड रिड्यूस अमंग दैम एंड इन अ स्टेट इफ द जॉब्स आर नॉट प्रोवाइडेड बाय द पंचायत 
in that state they will be as a unemployment allowance some amount of a money without any work it will be paid by the panchayat to the individual for their survival for their survival till there any questions yes nine day any questions till there any questions now next scheme next scheme next poverty alleviation program second one yes next scheme is a prime minister rozgar yojana prime minister rozgar yojana prime minister minister rozgar yojana prime minister rozgar yojana pradhan mantri rozgar yojana it was launched in 1993 1993 in a year of 1993 this scheme launched by the government of india in relation to the in relation to create self employment opportunities self employment opportunities self employment opportunities for self employment opportunities for educated self employment opportunities for educated unemployed educated unemployed in rural areas in rural areas clear the objective it helped it helped the people to set up their own sources of employment it helped people it helped people to set up their own sources of employment third third poverty alleviation program rural are rural employment generation program rural employment generation program rural employment generation program launched in 1995 it was launched in 1995 1995 this pro program this program targeted to create self employment opportunities self employment opportunities self employment opportunities in rural regions rural regions through rural areas through rural areas through availability of credit credit means loan availability of credit availability of credit at low availability of credit at low interest rate at low interest rates till there any questions next team is the yes any queries any questions now the fourth one fourth A rural employment generation program launched in 1995 to create the self-employment opportunities in 
rural areas rural areas in which as a loans provided to the rural population at a low interest rate at low interest rate clear just see at low interest rate now the next scheme pradhan mantri gramodaya yojana pradhan mantri pradhan mantri gramodaya yojana pradhan mantri gramodaya yojana launched in 2000 it was launched in 2000 launched in 2000 this scheme this scheme provide basic services basic services such as primary health centers primary health centers primary health centers primary education primary education clean drinking water clean drinking water power supply electricity power supply means electricity electricity shelter 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 to rural population to rural population at affordable rates at affordable rates means if anybody not having their cemented house for example a person which has not having their cemented house under this scheme under this scheme of a pradhan mantri gramodaya yojana gramodaya yojana 50000 50000 given to the individual 50000 given to the individual to set up their own shelter to set up their own shelter shelter it means as a the person can build their own house one room apartment one room it can be as a built by the person by taking the money from a government as a 50000 for construction of their house not more than it and that amount of a money the person it will be not returned it is as the for welfare gramodaya yojana clear same as sulab shachalyas are also constructed sulab shachalyas in which as where as the uh, flushes are not present in a rural economy 90% share given by the government and a 10% will avail by the individual for example if any of flush needs as a expenditure total usa kharcha agar 10000 aa raha hai if the total expenditure as a 10000 rupees 9000 it will be as a given by the government and 1000 it will be as a paid by the individual in a form of a labor or a material construction material through which it can build their own sanitation as a flushes which has given under as a sulab shachalyas sulab shachalyas which has cover under the swachh bharat abhiyan it has cover under the swachh bharat abhiyan clear so this one for today rest of the schemes we will discuss on tomorrow any questions yes pranay pranay